Okay, this module is called H116 Wire Harness Troubleshooting. And what we've done here is produce this wire harness circuit board that you see here in the middle. And this replicates the wiring harness that connects all these three circuits which you have already studied. The lamp circuit on the very first one, H111A. Then we had the brushless DC motor circuit, H113. Then we had the relay fuel pump circuit, H115. And we combine those with H116 and the power board from H111A, which is up here at the 12 o'clock, but it's off this camera angle so you can't see the whole circuit board but you've seen it three times so you know what's there and what we have is a mini electrical system we call it the MES M-E-S mini electrical system now with all this put together what we have with the wire harness are three switches and you want to think of these switches as if it was a connector. If I want to turn off the fuel pump circuit, I could disconnect it by switching S7C off. Turn it back on, that'd be like plugging a connector apart or plugging in. And the reason for that is because you're going to have to troubleshoot various types of problems such as shorts to ground and shorts to voltage and you need to be able to remove circuits or portions of circuit uh, to do your tests and measurements and you'll see that as you go through it and you have all those capabilities. The other thing we've done different with the lamp circuit is we have created a little modification here which is explained in the manual in the workbook and when you press switch S2 you momentarily turn on the the light which is the master brake light at the back of the vehicle top center we call it the master brake light of course the fuel pump and fuel pump relay circuit is just like we had before and then the DC motor board with the brushless DC motor is going to be referred to as the engine cooling fan so you see now that we have quite a few different problems relating to a system. Uh, let me just tell you one of my favorite problems. When it's inserted into the circuit boards, which of course you've got your, your own workbook for the wire harness with all this put together, and an instructor guide that has all the answers and it has all the different individual problems, is about 114 problems in the mini electrical system and and many more you could create along the way if you want to play with it and go a little bit deeper and deeper or go back and review from time to time you could create other problems but the one that's one of my favorites is that the customer complaint is in the summertime when he's going home in stop and go traffic and he stops at a lot of traffic lights his air conditioner is running it wide open and he's got his foot on the brake and the engine RPM is, is low because he's at idle and he puts his uh, foot on the brake because he's waiting for the light to turn green while he's sitting there with his foot on the brake the brake light is on and the DC motor slows down. So the customer complains while I'm sitting at a traffic light I got my foot on the brake my engine temperature starts to go up. Now if you want to replace the brake light the brake light switch the DC motor circuit go right ahead you're still going to have your problem because the problem is in the wire harness 
So we made it a realistic problem. And that's exactly what happens. Everything runs fine until you press on the brake light and come to an idle. The engine cooling fan will slow down. And that's just one of the types of examples of circuits and problems that we've created here. Uh, you could have a problem where the fuel pump doesn't work very well when something else is on or in a certain uh, mode of vehicle operation and you'll test the circuit and that's what's replicated. You troubleshoot it to find the problem. Uh, sometimes the problem will be in the wire harness Sometimes the problem will be on the individual module. I'm not going to tell you which one. I might even have problems up in the power board. So all this is fair game for those 114 different problems that you have to troubleshoot. And this is a lot of fun because not only are you troubleshooting a circuit, but you have to listen to the customer's complaint to recognize what's wrong with the vehicle, where do I go first, what do I check first. By this time you've done 32 problems, 75 problems, 42 problems. You got no problem with any other faults that we put into this mini electrical system. By this time everybody is very proficient and finds the problem in a reasonable amount of time. In fact, sometimes they go so fast I couldn't insert problems fast enough to keep a room of text busy even though I had several of these out on the table. Because by now you've been troubleshooting, learning all the different tricks and all the different techniques and now you put it together in the mini electrical system and I can assure you you're going to troubleshoot every one of those problems. Sometimes you'll think a little bit, but you'll know what to do, where to check, what to test, when a reading is good, when a reading is bad, and where do you go after that. Happy troubleshooting! <laughs>